Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and we have a math problem here. We want to calculate the area of our square. We have one big square here, but there's some information about the rectangles inside. All the rectangles inside have the same area. All right, got a big square. Every rectangle inside has the same area, and we know the width of this rectangle right here is three. And we want to find the, well, area of the big square. We don't really have a lot of information, so I want you to pause this video and think through and think, well, how can you solve this problem? Uh, that's the best way you probably learn is to try to practice it, but if you're impatient, we're about to dive on in. So let's go first focus on the rectangle here that we have a side length value of. What do we know that the area of that rectangle is? Well, re area of rectangle is length times width, or we can call it little a by b. So let's call this length here, three being a, and this by b. So a times b gives us the, well, area of that rectangle. Well, I don't know what it is, but I know a is three. So if A is three, then I can really write the area of that rectangle to be, well, three times B. Now, one thing they tell us here is that every rectangle has the same area. So if the area of whatever this first rectangle is, is three B, all the other ones should be three B as well, right here. So where can I, well, go with this? I'm going to focus here on this rectangle right here, okay? The two top parts and the one on the bottom. I'm going to see what I know about that rectangle. So let's draw a little image here. I'm going to say area of, well, this rectangle right there. That's what we're working on here. Well, that's equal to 3B plus 3B plus a 3B. So 3B plus 3B plus a 3B. Or it's equal to, well, 9B, right? it's equal to a 9B. Well, it's also equal to its length times the width because it's a rectangle, right? Well, we already know that the height is B, what's the length? So if we call this value, let's call that C here, the length here, that rectangle, the height we know is to be B, then we can say that 9B is equal to a B times a C, or that you know C value is. Well, from there, we can clearly see what C is equal. C is equal, divide both sides by B, and it's a nine. So we have a length here of nine. We have a length of three. They tell us from the beginning that the whole thing is a square. So the overall length of one of the side lengths is gonna be three plus nine, which is a 12. And we have a 12 by 12 square. And so the area of our big square, S, is a 12 squared, which is 144 units squared. And there we got it. We used math and knowledge here to determine that the overall area of the square is 144 units squared. Did you get that answer? If you did, way to go. And if you didn't, but now you understand how to get that answer, that's just as good. I hope you liked this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This helps us make more of these fun math videos for you and for everyone else. So as always here, Thanks for watching.